Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. Akio! A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. It's just not as uh, tidy as I expected. Armit, could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Where precisely is the table we're looking for? According to an old astronomer's chronicle I found in the library, it may be somewhere along the castle wall. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. Akio! Arrest the momentum! Descendo! Leviosa! Depulsa! Revelio! More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no, not this close to school, I mean. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Stargazing is all about patience and precision. was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Nice to see you, my young friend.
Revelio. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Duracle... Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Cause we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derical feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derry calls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The cry in those things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to ear with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Hogsmeade, here I Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Oh. I'm most pleased to be included. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again.
Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. I have things to do. These rocks have seen better days. Protego! That was a Messidia! Cost us out! It's Sidia! Where's that? Finished your assignments? I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you. I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Focus. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention.
It seems you have a on Defendo. I would encourage you. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. What are you up to now? Revelio. Professor Howell will never believe this. Rebellion. Revelio. Rebellion. Sometimes it seems all roads lead.
happening? Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Fret biscuit. I shall sort something out. Welcome. Come on in. Now, where was I? Right. Oh, yes. <laughs> Now, you let me know if there's anything else I can help you with.
Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. I'm just trying to practice. Ah, oh, hello. And how would one like to be styled today? Hello. Oh, come in. Come in. Welcome to Madame Snelling's Tress Emporium. <laughs> I'm sure I've no need to introduce myself. They used to call me Snelly. Oh, Snelly, why aren't you studying to be an aura? But I showed them. They're stuck in the dust at the ministry and I'm here thriving. <laughs> Absolutely thriving. But look at you. Look at you. I can certainly see why you paid me a visit. Looking for a change, are we? I'm not sure what you mean, but I'm quite all right as I am. Some are going for that muggle with consumption sort of death becomes me allure. But you won't find poisons here. No need for chloride of lime or ammonia when you have magic. Why don't you spend a moment choosing how you'd like to look? You can change your hair too if you'd like. I should be going now. Thank you. Take your time looking about. Plenty of wonderful books to stoke a curious mind like yours. Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Rebellion.
yourself. I mean you no harm. Hogsmeade, here I come. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can... Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Ah, it's always nice to see a familiar face. Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Nice to see you, my young friend. <laughs> Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Professor Howard. 
never believe this. I'll look after you. 